Well, here we are. A making of. A making of what, brother? I know that's what you're asking. Well, an Instagram. Okay, I know it's not my usual set because I, my flag is... I'm going to start carrying my flag with me. Not my flag. It's a David Hammond's uh, uh, artist, artist flag with the, you know, the red... And the black uh, stripes, the black background for the green, well, rather with the green background for the for the for the for the stars or whatever. Anyway, don't worry about it. you. You see it when you see it if you've been paying attention. Uh, Instagram meaning Instagram. Oh, I'll turn this off. Let's turn my thing on. I have the. Uh, okay, I've got the uh, bone conduct. Conductive, conducty thingy. It's all right, but I think when the battery starts getting low, starts changing, then I lose bass. You know, and I gotta have bass. Come on, thing, turn it off. I think I don't know. Let me give them the benefit of the doubt. Oh, come on, thing, turn it off. Um. So as usual, you know, we do, we we supposed to look and see how many steps I walk, but, you know, I'm not doing the same thing today. You see, I'm dressed differently and everything like that. Um, uh, today's a big, huge, a huge, a huge day. I got to spend most of the day with my niece. And I got to spend most of the day with my niece to the um, Billy Carson workshop that I, I signed up for. So I'm going to see, because whatever he's talking about, you know, extraterrestrials and financial things, him and then whatever it is, you know what I mean? It's cool. I mean, you know, and I, I'm, 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 I'm open to, I'm open to all knowledge, you know, but it's not my, it's not my area of interest, but I wanted to see if my niece would take it up, you know, sorry, it's cold out here this morning, well, it's not that cold, but you know, it's colder than it's been, right, so, uh, so, so that's got to do that, that's all day thing, starts at 11 or something like that, and it goes to, um, seven or something like that you know it's like eight hours eight hour workshop online so i gotta go go over her house hang out with her all day and then later on at night my brother he done got uh you know my sister he done hit uh because they have a new place so they got the big tvs now so there's a big fight tonight right i think it's it must be middleweight or uh, heavy middleweight but it's not a well it's, i don't follow i don't follow boxing i'm that guy kind of guy right but so he's, you know how they do it? Like I save it costs seventy dollars, right? Seventy dollars, so you have like seven prints over whatever. I think you have like ten people over something like that, because you know that's the way you make your money back, or at least you know share the thing and be a big party, whatever have you, you know. So of course I got to go because I got to hang out with the boys, you know. I mean, it's, I got, I think these days it's like I got to be with the boys, you know. <laughs> This thing with the women doing what they do. I don't know what the women are doing. Don't care. I'm out of that thing like that. Don't, uh, whatever my wife is doing, fine, do that. I got stuff to do, right? <laughs> I'm working with the boys, right? They've been ne neglected long enough, including my own boys. Um, so, so I hang out with the boys, you know, with the, with the boxing thing. But, you know, I don't know what they're going to have. They'll have that Kentucky, whatever they're going to have, right? But I'm coming later on. I'm going to have my, I'm bringing my Primitivo wine. I started it yesterday. Half a glass. Ah, oh, really? I like it. Oh, I like it even better than the than the twenty nineteen crimes warden thing. Which I maybe I'll bring the nineteen crimes warden thing. Ah, oh, and use that at the thing. But I'm gonna get some pizza. Right? I'm gonna get this because this is this thing called New York style pizza, New York whatever it's. And I think they make very good pizzas. I like the whatever, whatever, whatever. So I might just get a basic one or just one with mushrooms, something like that. Not one. I get like two, something like that. Maybe I'll be. Maybe I'll splurge and get three. Now nah, I don't know, because you know they'd be like ten. Probably be like ten. Whatever guys there, so gotta do that. But oh, meanwhile, to the point. This is the making of, and you know what we gotta do. The first thing we gotta do is we gotta find out how many steps we walk. Now, since we haven't walked that many steps, because you know it's not a normal thing. Let's see how many steps is not that many steps. Um, one thousand eight hundred eighty-eight steps. Seven twenty-eight. There you go. That would be one point. Two six kilometers or kilometers. Uh, well, let's see what one point two six kilometers is. That's my oh, only thing. It's not I'm pressing for. I'm pressing for. Not a lost a, a whole trend of thought. What am I gonna do? One uh, one point two six kilometers. Where's the thing at? Yeah. 
go here, go here, go there. Uh, 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 one, one point two six. I said two six. Make like I said two six kilometers. K I L L O M E. Okay, one point two six kilometers to miles is uh, point seven eight three miles. I walked almost a mile. Walking back, I was so I probably just walk a mile this morning. I got things to do, you know. I got, you know, I got my hope day is planned, you know. So that's uh, seven, that's 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, that's 18. 21, well, all right. Okay, that's good. Good number. Um, so I gotta do that. What am I gonna talk about? I knew I, I had a subject in mind. Get out of here. Oh, I know what I'm gonna talk about. Uh, oh, in case you, but now I'll talk about that too. Why, why I'm dressed the way I'm dressed. Oh. Hey, we gotta start this thing. We're gonna start our little ritual now. I gotta. Maybe I shouldn't talk about that. Now, nah, what the heck? Let me get this ready. Oh, let me take these off. Take the bone conduct conduct these off. Put it in one of my pockets here. Lot of pockets this morning. Got a lot of pockets. That's what I said. I said I gotta. I gotta. I gotta, 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 gotta. I gotta. Willis. I gotta. I gotta, 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 I got to got 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 Hey, Instagram. It's me, T. I know I'm unrecognizable from the Pattersons taking the train to Tibet. Yeah, I'm dressed differently in my morning walk. Oh, see under here, I got my favorite T-shirt on. It's a it's a thing of. Oh, let me. Well, let me show you. I mean, I got to show you this. This is one of my favorite T-shirts. In fact, this is just my favorite T-shirt. I think I'm going to leave it here in the States. <laughs> when I go to Cape Town, I mean, you know, Cape Town. When I go to South Africa, I mentioned Cape Town because that's where I'm going to first. And this is a a depiction, art, art, artistic rendering of Cape Town. See Table Mountain there? You see, you see Devil's Peak, Table Table Mountain, and uh, and uh, Lion's Head, which really Lion's Rump. Anyway, see that's I love this T-shirt. It's a long sleeve tee, but I'm gonna leave it here. Why? Because I got clothes down in South Africa. My, my wife makes clothes. Look, this is what this is the thing that my wife my wife made. This is actually a traditional fabric they use in the closer culture to make the things. And she made it. But the only thing that I asked her to do, see, the pockets usually go straight down. I had her turn the pockets just a little bit like that. Why? Well, of course I do. And then and then this is a this is a jacket I got down there. It's a big it's a it's a jacket that, see the way let me say the men, the older men down there, they don't wear, for whatever reasons, they don't wear like fitted stuff. You know what I mean? This the jacket's usually a little bit bigger. I guess because they had it for a long time. It's their favorite jacket or whatever it is. And so it's sort of loose on them. You know what I mean? It's like they lost weight and they, you know, whatever it is. And I like this jacket. I like the fabric. It's got, you know, certain pocket thingies here. So I like it a lot, you know? I'm gonna leave it here too. <laughs> Everything I leave, I leave here. Uh, but look at the color. Here's the interesting thing. See the colors of the of the thing that my wife she, she embroidered this here. It's a beautiful thing. I'm gonna leave this here. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it this here too. <laughs> but this hat I wear, this cap I'm wearing, if you will. This is part I have more than, uh, There is a uh, on my YouTube. Well, now it's, it's. I might release it. I have it where you know you you can't really see it, right? I might. I may or may not release it. Yeah, maybe I will, because I've been going through uh, stuff. I finally got up into some of the stuff out of the stuff that's up in my up in my sister's attic. You know, whatever, whatever, not attic, the crawl space up there. And so I've been going through this stuff. Really interesting. You know, I'm not one that looks back. That I don't particularly evaluate what I've done. I don't be looking back, but because it, it says spring certain memories. But this is a cap to the cap and gown I wore at my. You know, college graduation, my Livingston College graduation, Livingston College part of Rutgers University. 
Everybody else, you know, they wear the, the black stuff with the, with the mortarboard, you know, and sometimes this, now, now they allow them to have a little sprinkling of what, what do you call that, um, a kente cloth around their thing. Man, I had a whole Af African outfit, and this was the, the top to it, but you know, it's the same kind of stuff, right? So this was my cap, and I had a, I had a gown went all the way down to my ankles, right? You'll see, uh, well, maybe I'll release that thing, you'll see, because I wear it. Anyway, cause I look, that was it, night. 1970, I graduated, 1970, 76, right? And I think, and my wife made this, let's just for uh, uh, whatever purpose to say, my wife made this in 19, 19, in 2016, right? 76 to, 76 to 86, 86 to 96, 96 to 2006, 2006 to 2000, 16, right? So 40, 40 years later, the same kind of colors, the same, look at that, the same colors. You did, that doesn't blow your mind? It blows my mind. Hey, you know. Anyway, that's not what we're going to talk about. Uh, not the way I'm dressing, right? But I've been really, uh, in looking this, this um, I'm going to talk about myself a bit. Well, I have been, right? But, and, and, and pulling the stuff down and reading letters that I had written to people, people wrote to me, whatever it is. I mean, like I said, I'm not a person to look back, but I'm sort of like, oh, this is certainly interesting. <laughs> oh, this is profound. You have a thing like, like, like uh, say for instance, uh, the boys and girls of New Boogie Group, they wrote me a little thank you note, New Year's note. Uh, Jeannie Hopper wrote me a little thank you note about, you know, just things that I, I well, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Which is interesting because, again, I believe there's no, well, prayer is prayer, but what you do is, what you want to do is give thanks and praises. That satisfies people. That that, that helps people more than, you know, you you praying for them or whatever. I shouldn't say it like that, but it's it, to me, it's a more, it's a better thing to unexpectedly to give to give thanks and praises uh, for things that were done for you or to you, whatever it is. So, that's one thing, but the thing that I really came across, I'm uh, looking at all this stuff, is that I really, I'm, I'm just too through with the, because I guess maybe I've been listening to too much, too much Tommy Curry, or, uh, you know, I don't know, but uh, I'm just too through with uh, uh, black men being attacked, cons consistently, <laughs> right? And let's show you what I mean. No, uh, because I didn't kind of die. I've been listening every morning. Well, I, yeah, every most every morning. Part I put apart, you know, I listen to. Uh, well, I'll say in this order usually. Uh, I listen to Adin Kata out here on my own, right? Uh, Rihanna lifts me up just because I just like the voice. I like the the waves and stuff like that. It has nothing to do with Wakanda Forever. Well, I shouldn't say that because that inspired the song. Uh, uh, then I go to, of course, to uh, Marvin Gaye, piece of, usually piece of clay, but anything but Marvin Gaye. I think I, I forgot what I did this morning. Something, uh, uh, whatever I did with Marvin. Marvin is Marvin. Don't matter what you do, right? Uh, oh, before I did him, I did uh, Nina Simone, African mailman. I'm gonna be the African mailman. I'm bringing, I'm bringing mail. I'm bringing information to Africa, right, in the next few days. I leave, I think, on Wednesday, I leave. Uh, Marvin, uh, Marvin, not piece of clay, what did I play with Marvin? Uh, whatever I played, Marvin. Uh, then I played, uh, oh, uh, Love Woke Me Up This Morning, our usual, that's um, Valerie Simpson. And then I played, oh, uh, what's the name, uh, Greg Porter. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, let the spirit waters free, you know, uh, spirit waters, whatever that cut is, and then uh, then I went and then I went and played some uh, oh some Prince Prince and uh, and Marika whatever her name is uh, um, uh, I love open love open, um, uh, love that will be done it's a gospel tune just in case you didn't know love that will be done if you change love for God God that will be done it's a gospel tune. I'm not, I'm not going to say it, but it's like the funk bass and stuff like that. Okay. But going back to Arden Carter, I really like that movie Fame. Fame is a really, really well done film. It's well done. The only thing I don't like about it, I shouldn't say absolutely hate about it, that is unfair. Remember, it's written by, by, by a white guy, you know, uh, 
uh, what's that, Leslie Gore's uh, brother or cousin or something, I guess brother, something like that. So it's got the white guy perspective. And then when you think, look at the film, things happen to everybody has a little arc. Things happen to everybody, right? But for me, the most devastating arc is an untrue arc for me, for my, for my, my, because I've been through that. The, the, the Leroy character, right? And the character's name is Leroy, let's think about that. Um, is this whole thing about, you know, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a project dude, you know, I mean, he's a ghetto project dude, right? And basically, at the end, basically, uh, he, he, he's effeminate. They effeminize him, right? But one of the things that, that, that really upset me about this, not upset, I shouldn't, I'm not upset, really, really uh, is telling about this, is that there's one scene, because, you know, he's a dancer. Now, when you're a dancer, you use certain muscles. So, so, so you walk, you have to, you start, your gait, your, everything changes, you know what I mean? And because uh, dance is associated with ballet and dance for so long, it's like, it's almost like you become, you use feminine, feminine or, or, or graceful, more graceful things and, and you know, and dudes are more, uh, 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 uh. So at, at times you can be mistaken that that, 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 um, that flow could be mistaken for, for effeminate, right? Uh, a great example is I'm going to kick, I'm going to kick that right now. If you look at the, um, at the Cape, like colored, colored people, they have a, a somewhat effeminate ways. You know what I mean? I'm not saying they're effeminate. Don't, 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 want to, don't be jumping on me. I don't know. You know, I mean, but they're, they're more flowing. They're, they're more flowing, right? Than, than whatever, for whatever reason. But what I didn't like about this one scene in the film, Fame, we're talking about the original, I don't, I don't, I don't know about the TV series or, or the remake or something like that. But where uh, Leroy is coming back to school, and and his, when he first comes, to, his guys are, are, are bringing him to school. He jumps out the car, whatever it is. But later on, his arc changes, and what happens is they're they're taunting him for 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 basically going to this high school for 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 they're taunting him for I want to say being successful, but on the road to success, right? And in my world, right, that's not what happens. When somebody's making it out and you can tell they're going to make it, they don't taunt. They support. They support. And that's what bothers me about the, the, the thing of fame and the white boy writing favor or whatever, Harry, is that when we have somebody that's going to get out, you, you, we give support. We don't bring down a black man who's, who obviously is going to get out. Uh, so you know basketball, whatever they they're doing, you know we usually you help them through. You make sure I say no, no, you leave that guy alone. He's gonna be a, a nuclear physicist. <laughs> you know what I mean? You leave that guy. He's gonna be blah blah. Well, actually, the, I won't get into that whole thing. Um, but the real point is that, but when you have other people writing your stories, they can make characters the way they want to make characters. And for so long, black men especially. Up and souped upon, and 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 and, and, and it's coming to fore these days. It's like really glaring, you know. What I mean, feminize and, and and demonize, and you know the whole trope about being rapists and stuff like that. That still exists, and then it's terrible. So my thing right now is, uh, oh hey, hey somebody from Legos, hey Legos, Photo Factory Legos. I'm, I'm talking black American thing. That I do. Don't worry. I, I believe me. It could, black America, they try to be doing it to, to Africa too. I'm, I'm just telling you. So my whole focus right now is I don't care what women are doing. I don't care what identity, whoever is doing. I don't care what any, I don't care. Politics, y'all can have your politics. Somebody, the, the, the Republicans had some sort of thing with that. Are you right? I don't care. My focus is black men. Black men. Young black men going to be... Old, older black men. I want black men to be to get to be my age. <laughs> you know, so I'm working hard on that, and it, it, it can't be just individuals. We have to put it in such a way that that that, that it's uh, uh, a society is, is built a, a a way that the, uh, a, a way that can't be broken down. You see, so and well, that's it. Let me. I can keep on going off and going off and going off, but I'm not. So I'm. See, I would say I'm hopeful. I'm more than hopeful. I'm do. I'm gonna do it. We gonna do it. You know what I mean? Black black men arise black, all over the planet. Black men, where you are, I don't care what nation you in. I don't care what you be, be from Sri Lanka to 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 
to to Vancouver from <laughs> from okay wherever you are to stop listening to these people that are trying to make you feminine stop listening to these people that's taking away your stories right we're making our own stories we ain't listening to nobody from the outside especially especially I want to get all all black Muslim on you. Especially these demons. <laughs> oh, Lord, it be. The demons. The, don't let a demon get you to be a demon. Let me put it that way. Release, let me, the way I say it, if you're in my world, when I'm training my, my peoples, my whole technique is for you to release your own magnificence. Even when I'm working with, I'm, I'm working with women, men, children, whatever. Our job is to release your own. You have to release your own magnificence. You can't be taking in information from demons so that they can give you demonic things and then, then when you try to release your own magnificence, it's got to go through the demons that they put in your way. See, your magnificence is so magnificent that whatever demons that they, they throw at you, whatever the things they've been programming into you, your demons, not, your demons just rather your magnificence just knock those demons out the way, and what emerges is is you. See how that works? Okay, just a little. Did I let you know that? You know. Anyway, things are going well, and I'll talk to you another time. Be well. Oh well, I I guess, you know, and you know when I get back to when I finally get to Dumbaza, I have Lakota help, and I think <laughs> if things keep on going the way they're going, I think the Lakota house is going to be oh joy, is going to give. I think I'm going to be preaching, you know. Soul preacher arises. It's funny as it thinks of my childhood. Keep on, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, ah, I'm gonna say fighting demons. Ah, ah, the brother preaches magnificence. Hey, I like that one. The brother preaches. P R E. E A C H E Preach E S I think it's spelled preaches. Yeah, right there, preaches. I think that preaches. I shouldn't say preaches. I don't like that. The brother advocates magnificence, advocates, advocates. Advocates. Uh, v O C A T E. Advocates magnificence. M A G A. Oops. Advocates. M A M A G N I uh, F I C E Magnificence. The brother advocates magnificence. There we go. Western branch. Not taking air to series. Uh, uh, in the morning, in the morning, in the morning. Done. Oh, I know it. I know it's share. I got a good one for this one or something. Oh, it's cold. I got to get back because um, I got to do some more preparation for, uh, uh, for, for going up to my nieces today. Okay. Uh, let me see. Then I got to let me share this with my people or write a message. When I share the write a message, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, first light. F I R S. First light. L I G H. First light preaching. <laughs>
No, the brother as first light. No, first light preaching. P R E A C H. First light preaching. I like to use three words only. You know what I mean? Actually, when I still first started writing poetry, I always used three. Matter of fact, the, the letter that started me writing poetry, the letter that started me writing poetry because a wrong was being done to a person, and I wrote a letter to the um, to a, the company commander, somebody in the in the, in the chain, whatever it is, you know, so these, these guys would stop preying on this 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 this, this young girl. Um, but it was inspired by Laura Nero, and uh, Laura Nero was inspired by by Laura Neal because of, of her, you know the way she um, the singer you know Eli in the 13th Confession singer you know uh, the way she uh, worked you know um, just I just really loved her lyrics the way her style of writing so when I started writing poetry uh, my early poems usually used three words oh, that's, don't worry about all that stuff I don't even know why I'm telling you that not, not for you to know this is this is a creative kind of thing. Much about how creativity, you know, does this thingy. Come on, load up. First light preaching. Come on. There we go. Hey, Instagram. It's me. What's going on? I know. I'm unrecognizable. From the Pattersons taking the train to Tibet. Yeah, I'm dressed differently in my morning walk. Oh, see, under here I got my favorite T-shirt on. Go. Boom. Okay. That's done. So we're done. It's cold out here. I got to go and do some other stuff. I'm not even going to put my... I'm not even going to put... Um, hey. Oh. I'm not even going to put my um, music back on. That's unfair. I should. No, I'm not going to put music that on. I'm a marinade. <laughs> no, in fact, let me just take this out. Like that. Oh, what am I? Why do I keep on talking to you? We're through. Talk to y'all later. Bye.